Yeah. All right, Bob, what's going on? What What did you say Dad did? I was reenacting what Dad was doing earlier. What was he doing? Stay on there, Daddy! <laughs> God damn, you piece of crap! <laughs> I want, I want to, is that what you did? Yeah, I got mad at it because I want, I want, where is that junk? <laughs> <laughs>Good morning guys, Cody and Clance from Bar 7 Ranch and today we are working on the square body again. We're trying to make our deadline to get to the car show. Um, so today, we still got a lot ahead of us, but today what are we going to try to accomplish? Oh, uh, we're going to try to get on the wheel hubs, the brake line, the starter, and maybe the headers. Maybe the headers, that's right. We got a few things to do there, so I'm going to flip. So on. here, these, these old hubs, the rotors are worn out and the stud, the wheel studs need to be replaced and it was about as cheap just to buy a whole new hub rotor assembly than it was to go through all the pain and hassle changing all that out so we're going to put those on we also have new uh where are they right there oh brake calipers and pads to put on there we're going to try to get that put on both sides this morning like clance said also we got all new brake lines to run on the truck we're going to try to get that done get the starter put in and what was the other thing we said oh maybe maybe get the headers mounted here once we once we get the starter in and we get uh, get our brake lines and everything run. So we're going to also mount the steering box on the side over here that we had rebuilt. Actually, all right, get over here now. Come on. How many times are you going to run? Actually, we didn't rebuild it. We just um, we we swapped it. We we got a remanufactured one. So we're going to get after it. Um, we're not going to show y'all guys everything. We're just going to kind of hit and miss here or there as we're doing stuff. I will show you a few things that Clance has already got done over the last couple of days. Um, he's already got his new brake hoses put on and ready to go. We got the transfer case mounted. Uh, the transmission and the engine are dropped in. We're missing a bracket. This truck didn't have it on it that holds the transfer case over to the uh, frame. So we got to try to locate one of those. We started replacing the u-joints on the drive shaft and this happened how do you how do you focus right there you can't okay so right here we broke this yoke out it's probably all right to keep using but i don't really want clance driving around in this thing and that brake in the drive shaft come out and beat up the underside of the truck him have a wreck and also i just don't want to damage all the, the stuff that we've done so he also has got the uh <coughs> sending units put in so we're going to work on a little bit of that too he's got all new emergency brake cables going on there so it's a progress being made so we're going to get to work so we've hit our first snag of the morning um and it just seems like every time we do something on this pickup it's like man we're going to get a lot accomplished and then we boom it's this something like this happens or so I'm going to flip you around and show you what we got going on. So we got this hub off. And you can see right here, these threads, maybe I'll turn you here. These threads are supposed to run all the way out to the end of this spindle. Well, right here, somebody didn't put this key in here that was supposed to go in there. So the, there's a little washer that's in there and it's just rubbed around and it's, and it's eat those threads up pretty good. Come on, focus, baby. So, here's the dilemma. I want to pull that spindle off and replace it, but we're not going to get one found and put on before the car show. And granted, you know, we're not trying to win the car show. All we're trying to do is we're just like, if we can get it moving, running and driving, even if the lights don't work and all that kind of stuff, you know, we'll be satisfied um, for now. You know, that was our goal. So, this could be either shut it down or i mean this pickup was running and driving and it did fine and so i think what we're going to do is we're just going to put everything back on like it's supposed to um all the new stuff i don't i think it's going to be all right i mean it's not like we're going to drive it a bunch and until we can get that ordered and get it in you know it'll be a little bit of a hassle taking all the brakes and everything back off again but i think it'll be all right to get us where we're going so that's what we've decided to do 
isn't it, Clance? We're just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, I, I never would want, we, we don't want to do a job incomplete and do it wrong, but this is kind of one of those situations where we just got to get something done and we're going to do it this way. So, all right, so now Clance is going to learn how to pack bearings. So let's get on to that. Okay, so we're going to start by, so we're going to do, let's do the one that says inside first. We don't matter, let's take them both out. But you need to keep up with which one's which because they're different Since sizes. Don't back in the box, don't do it yet. Okay. We'll just set oh, it Oh, and they look different. They do? Okay. That's the right, that one's got the race with it. I don't think it. Yes, go ahead and open it. All right, so these already have the races with them. Did that one have a race with it or no? What's a race? A race is this outside part right here. No, mine don't have a race. Can I race you? That one's already got the inside race in it. Okay, so we shouldn't Why need that. Why do they spin? Well, they, they, they do spin. See, this bearing, this, these all roll as this goes around. Oh, okay. you're getting it dirty. All right, so let me show you how you're gonna do this, all right? So you're gonna get you, look, so you're gonna take this race and what we're wanting to do is get grease all in this. So you're gonna get you a handful of grease right here in your palm and you hold this race like this, I mean this bearing like this and you just get like the edge of it and pull it down in your hand like this. And just start getting a little, grab a little bit more grease each time and it'll start pushing it up in those bearings. Okay. Does that make sense? Here, move. And just get you a big glob in your hand. Okay. It's not going down into my palm. Now. That's fine. You can pull it down with that. You now you just grab the edge of it. Like this? Yep. And rake it. But you want to you want to keep doing it until it it starts to come out the top. And then you wrote then you start to rotate. Yep, keep doing it. Am I doing something wrong? No, it's just. Oh, it's just because it, it just keeps packing. Don't keep going deeper. You're you're working this area, not there. You go. You got to push it down into your palm so that it, yeah, so it's not sliding out. All right, so let me look right here. So, all right, I'm gonna. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, so let me show. You, let's show the folks at home. At okay, so why does this not focus? So, get your head out of the way. So, <laughs> Just, right I up, can't see nothing now. Well, you're not trying to see anything. So, what you're looking for, folks, is right up between these roller bearings, These that grease is going to start to poke out as he keeps going. So, keep going there. All right, stop right there. Let me see. All right, you see there? See how the grease is starting to come through? All right, so that's what you're going to do all the way around the bearing. Just keep working slowly, working it in, and, and we'll just, we want to get as much grease into that bearing as we possibly can. Okay? Okay. All right, Bob, what's going on? What, what did you say Dad did? I was reenacting what Dad was doing earlier. What was he doing? I wanna, I wanna, is that what you did? 
Yeah, I got mad at it because I want I want where is that junk? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't. He hasn't even looking at that one. Where's those those new rings at? Those new lock. In their box. <laughs> Whatever moron decided that hey, I think instead of making this thing like an eighth of an inch bigger and you can put a regular socket in there and get this thing out, I think I'd rather just cut some notches in this thing. That's stupid because you can't keep even pressure on it. And then these brand new ones, something's going on in here. They wouldn't even go on, so that's a waste of money. We'll have to pay it back. But... Easy, Junior. I was getting her done. Yeah. So what are y'all doing right now anyways? So right now we're changing the hubs because it needs new brakes. So these rotors were worn a little bit. And yes, we could have turned the rotors, but instead we just decided to put new ones on it because the wheel studs on these are all boogered up and we're gonna have to knock them out anyways and the bearings need to be replaced and it's like you know instead of instead of doing all that let's just put new ones on it and then we're done we don't and we're putting new locking hubs on it and everything else so yeah that's what we're doing today are things going right it's getting better it's getting better each day here i'm going to finish cleaning that and you go pack the bearings for this oh, one. Cleaning. So as of as of this day, Monday 9-11 at about approximately 2.30 p.m., yeah. what are the chances that you think you're going to get to the car show on we're Saturday? Gonna, we're going to be there. With this, with this with pickup. This truck, we're going to get there. I'm, I, have, I have confidence. Now, we may be riding up in style with big old no center hump in the floorboard or something, or we may be no lights working on the truck or something but did you update them that you have taken off all week so you could do this no i haven't said anything to nobody so did you even intro this video yes oh okay we've actually already talked about all this i believe but i can't remember so oh, gosh. i didn't get some footage of clancy packing around and i'm going to pack this one just because he's over there cleaning and we need to get done yeah i should probably wear gloves and safety goggles for this this is what happens when i'm not out here to film the video because I have to be inside working is I don't know what they've talked about and then when it comes time to edit since I'm the editor I have to watch like 74 hours of footage and figure out what's going on and where it needs to be cut and what needs to be taken out and all that stuff it makes my job harder so I really need to be out here for this so working during working hours is not good Cody not good for me well, I'm sorry, dear. That, that stuff works. smells awful. Yeah. I don't like the smell of that. What you is don't? that stuff? This is high temperature wheel bearing grease, wheel grease. I don't really like that. Yeah. Did you see all the comments from people that said you needed to put some kind of stuff on the seal that you put on that gas tank deal? That we should have put some grease on it. Yeah. So that when it pressurized or something, it like sealed it good or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I saw that, but I mean, it also has a vent tube on it, so that yeah. allows it to yeah. pressure to go out and stuff like that. But I just asked we, 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 just to appease everybody, we'll probably take it out and put a little grease on. I was it. just asking. Just so that everybody. You're trying to make everybody happy now. Yeah, I mean. Bob, I noticed that you found your surprise in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you thank you. <laughs> I saw those last night when I was at Brookshire's, and I thought of you. <sighs> getting too old for this are you Cats kidding me are you kidding me Legs. are you kidding five minutes. you're kidding me right no where's the little one at? um right there you can open it up if you want to get your other yeah, if you want to get your other hub out then we can start the same way yeah this is supposed to be one there that club's already got it in there. Mom over here playing Monopoly on mine and I'm her I'm trying phone. to, because it's fixing to expire if I don't get us all our taco points. Look, you, you see how many rolls I have? I know, so I need to do a 50. I need to do a 50 and change yours. I'm about to. Bring you what? That baron. At 1,000, go to a 20 until uh, 500. 
And then from 500 to 100. If I'm playing the Monopoly, I'm doing it my way. No. Yeah. Fix have to change your battery, Code Who's Diesel. the one that's better at it? Me, exactly. Have you ever done this before? A few times. So did you already show Clance doing this? Yep. He did the first ones, and since he was over there taking that hub off, and we lost some time going to town today to get parts, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and start packing this one. That way everybody will be, will be done. Hey, Mom, you want to see a garage shop? Hold this. Thanks. Okay. I don't think I got it on camera. <laughs> My camera was too here, close. Hold it like that. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Can you get it on camera yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this gonna? Ow! It hurts it. my hand because I don't want my hand to be hurt. I mean it. Wow. You're strong. Hey. Cooler. Hey. We don't have time for this, okay? <laughs> Mom was no. I, I already it. asked you to get that Mom out, and then you got the box open. Mom All right, cut. <laughs> Three it is 250. You got to get on it. Right, We're running out of time. Back out here with him. What are y'all doing? Get over here then. You're not even on it. There's a lot. Raise of it up some more or go the other direction. You moving it. A, do you see how far the distance is? Uh, moving an eighth of an inch is not going to get it on there. There's a lot of fighting going on since I've Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're still getting along though. So. Okay, that's good. That's good. Sure? All right, positive. Now back it off of ninety degrees. Can you, can you move this somewhere beside, right in my face? I just been clipping it on my shirt right there. Perfect. You gotta let go of it. There you go. Where's ninety degrees go to? Top. Straight up. Straight up now, baby. Do you really want? Yeah, say something to it now, LD. Are you trying? To, are you gonna do what Dad did earlier? How'd Dad do it? You're not on it. Can you not see that it's crooked? Can you not? Let me see it. <laughs> I want, hey, I got we, are, it. we are running I got out of it. we are running out of time. Quit jacking around and get it on there. How am I jacking around? Perfect. Boom. All right, now get your, put your torque wrench back on, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go get the little one. We gotta to torque this one back down to 35. Turn that one up to 180. I'm putting this one at 35. Dude, this one is two turns and it's at 35. I need to mic that kid up. This one's already at. Well, I'm already on here and you've got the socket over there and we'll be done. Did that already click? Go and bet you. All right, I think that's good. Good job. Now, I'll start turning that one up for you. Put your your little ring. Hey. You got to turn it three-eighths of a turn. Okay, go ahead. You're right. <laughs> Does it hurt you to say that? No, it doesn't. I'm <laughs> glad that he remembers that. So what is this that y'all are doing right now? Like what are you, are you like putting it back on or something, putting something? Yeah, we're putting the new rotors and hubs on for the four wheel drive for the front end. I'm not asking this for the audience, I'm asking it for me because I don't oh. know what you're doing. Okay, yeah. So the old ones are wore out, the brakes yeah. were wore out. And these bolts are all stripped out from people right. putting stuff on wrong. So we got all new assemblies that got the studs and everything in it. Yeah. And we put them on. So now they're now. But this you have to torque these, put them to a certain pressure yeah. so that they don't okay. keep it. Got it? You got it? I got it. All right, here's this deal. Before so, you hey, you gotta line that up in that groove yep. and get the little pin in there. You might have to turn your nut a little bit with your bolt there. 
So, but this is the last step before you what? Then we set the brakes on, the, the calipers and the brake pads on. And oh, then so we the can... brakes aren't on yet. These are the rotors? These are the rotors, yeah, which are half of the brakes. We got to put the caliper. I didn't have a, I didn't have this on you whenever you looked at me like I was stupid. So. What? Where's the I'm, 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 I can't talk to both of you at the same time. <laughs> I'll stop asking questions. Is this time for a commercial break? Are you, are you ready to whip him? Or I'm what? fixing to whip him, yeah. <laughs>